welcome back to my channel so i have a new topic for you on funding opportunities for interdisciplinary research so we all know that research has become a part and parcel of life and everybody is trying to do some good quality research and interdisciplinary research is the current focus now so that we can club different disciplines to get good results we can solve complicated problems so in this way a lot of work is happening in this area of interdisciplinary research I have already done a video on this. You can check that for more updates. So today we will check on the importance of funding. Okay, so without money there is no research, right? So it requires a lot of money for doing research. So the opportunities are there. A lot of opportunities are there. So let me give you some details about the funding opportunities for research activities. So coming to research organizations or funding opportunities. So these are few of the uh, funding agencies which funds a lot of research activities. So maybe uh, ICMR, NIH, BRAC, DST, DBT, uh, and uh, VG, Vision Group of Science and Technology (VGST). So these are few important funding agencies. There are many more. So these are the ones which I could uh, think about. So you can try to explore this. You can check on the schemes they have and see if you can fit into those schemes. Are you eligible for those schemes? And try to apply for those schemes. So in this way, a lot of funding opportunities are there. And now a lot of uh, uh, themes will be for interdisciplinary uh, research prospects. So since the topic is interdisciplinary area, I have considered those kind of uh, uh, things only today. So uh, basically, there was a call for. Uh, Uh, reproducible AI in health and medicine. So there is a lot of scope for artificial intelligence and machine learning in healthcare domain. Okay, a lot of work is happening in this area. So if you can check, uh, just type in Google Scholar, you can get so many hits. So many papers have been published in this area. So early detection, detection of cancer, early detection of tumor has been very helpful using AI tools. So there was a, a proposal, a research proposal which was there, and uh, basically these were the scope. so basically into diagnostics preventive therapeutic screening epidemiology and clinical care so if any of your study is falling into this areas you can check the scope of the particular proposal and then you can think of applying so better to have a interdisciplinary team multi centric kind of uh, proposals are more valued so a lot of uh, scope is there in this area of uh, machine learning uh, natural learning uh, language processing nlp so basically what is important here is you need to check the terms and conditions of the grant okay so they would have mentioned their terms and conditions the eligibility criteria the split up of budget like how much should be for recurring how much should be for non recurring so all those should be taken care when you are applying for any grant so basically on what uh, uh, criteria do a uh, project proposal get selected let me tell you something on that today so basically it is the most important thing is the merit or the quality of the proposal that you are uh, projecting so the scientific merit is the in the top list so there has to be novelty there has to be innovativeness there, there there should not be any copy pasting so there are a lot of tools available now like chat gpt so definitely people will try to uh, use that for writing proposals or writing paper but definitely there is something called as ai checker and using this ai checker you can even find out how much of the content is copied using this tools so you need to be very careful in case you are using this you need to see how to uh, rephrase it reframe it so that just for getting some idea you can check those uh, G, uh, chat gpt or something but the entire writing part should be yours so that is the most important thing so whether the uh, proposal what you have given is it reproducible is it implementable are you capable of getting a product out of it can it reach the market is it scalable so these kind of things will be checked when you are trying to write any proposal okay and uh, definitely the capacity of the uh, uh, principal investigator co principal investigator so when you are having this concept so what is the capability of that person your track record will be checked research records will be checked to see what is your uh, citation what how many grants you have how many patents you have so all that will be checked apart from that I, as i told you about interdisciplinary collaboration this is very very essential so that you can have all the facilities with you because every organization may not have all the facilities with them right so you have to continue your research with the available facilities with you and maybe you can collaborate with few people outside who have got additional facilities which would be beneficial for your project so in this way uh, interdisciplinary collaborations multi centric collaborations international collaborations all this could definitely help and the most important part is you need to check on the mode of submission 
okay certain times the submission will be through online portal like for vgst we have the ppms portal similarly each uh, system have their own portal so you check on this properly whether it is through online mode or offline mode because certain times you may have to send the hard copy you may have to post it and the post has to reach within some days so if certain things like that are there you have to plan priorly and see that you don't keep all this at the last moment which can lead to a lot of complications because the portal also can fall down and uh, the submissions can be delayed so in this way uh, definitely uh, try to submit your proposals uh, early stage itself so that at the last stage there is no complications so in this way if you have any doubts or any clarifications that you want you can check the contact details so below any scheme they would have given the contact details of some scientist with phone numbers email id so if you want to get any clarity about that particular uh, grant or research proposal or what kind of theme it is what scope it has got whether i am eligible so those kind of questions if you have any queries they have usually a faq but apart from that if you feel that the faqs those questions are not there you have something to be clarified you can contact those uh, scientists and get your uh, doubts cleared so in this way these are the usual selection criteria so basically uh, uh, apart from this apart from collaboration with uh, research institutes certain collaboration with industries also can be a plus point so that you can have much more exposure and much more uh, uh, easiness for scalability of the project so coming to the process what you need to do first of all you need to check the website regularly so this call for these proposals will be on a, a regular basis so if you have missed it if you miss the chance then no you cannot do anything right so you need to check the websites regularly when the uh, proposal has been released when is the last date how you have to plan to write it how by when you have to submit it so these kind of things will be very important next will be the eligibility criteria this is also the most important thing because in case you have a good idea everything is there if you are not eligible itself to write this proposal even if you write and submit they will not consider your application because you are not eligible to apply so certain times they would have mentioned phd is mandatory so when i when you are a mtech a uh, student or mtech uh, you have just finished mtech you have not done your phd but you want to apply you just apply it they will not consider your application because you have failed the eligibility criteria that is phd minimum so in this way please check the eligibility criteria before you apply and definitely as i told interdisciplinary multidisciplinary uh, clubbing of the themes like ai ml for healthcare so these kind of themes when you are trying to write some project proposal you have a better chance okay so apart from that definitely the deadlines are very important here and once you submit definitely what happens next is the waiting period so if you have applied in 2021 22 when it come the results comes it might be 2023 also right so it takes a lot of time so waiting period starts and then some day it can click so definitely we have seen today about the importance of research funding for uh, these kind of activities so research organizations and funding agencies like whatever i told you today can be one source of getting funds for the project so that you can have the facilities for you and that can help you in getting quality research so infrastructure is the most important thing so under uh, vgst also there is a scheme for infrastructure development called as the kfis level 1 and level 2 so this will help you in development of the infrastructure for research activities so keep applying year by year so it doesn't happen that you uh, apply once and it gets clicked you may have to apply several times you may have to apply ap apply it for different agencies over the years and finally some day it can click so please don't lose hope keep applying some day it will definitely click thank you for watching thank you for supporting me till date if you have not yet subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to my channel and please share me your feedback about these uh, videos that i'm doing and uh, share this video with maximum people so that somebody at least would have uh, some doubts regarding how to write a proposal what should be the qualities uh, uh, in a person to write a good proposal so this video which i have tried to do here will be definitely of some help to them thank you